his word. This show is dedicated to the family of faith around the globe. We are streaming live at radioremnant.org. Thank you to our incredible station engineer, Ulate. He managed to fix some technical difficulties we were having, and so the sound you're hearing is a miraculous answer to prayers because we live by faith. And it's so wonderful to see God move across this land. So thank you, Ulate, and thank you to uh, Remnant Radio 100.1 FM for making this pod possible. Now, the podcast is also available on iTunes, SoundCloud, Spotify, Google, and wherever you can get your podcasts, or just go to getyourloveon.org. You'll see where you can listen, when you can listen, and then lots of additional resources to feed your heart and your soul. We have beautiful videos um, that teach how to walk in faith and put one foot in front of the other and, and grow before the Lord. And what more can we ask for in this life, right? Now, if you're new to this show, I do highly recommend going to getyourloveon.org. Spend some time binging on the content there. Every show is archived. And as I mentioned, we have beautiful video resources in addition to the podcast. We also have some beautiful Bible studies in addition to the podcast. So it'll it's sure to lift your heart and ignite your faith. So spend some time at the website. And if you've been listening to this show for a while, well, then I'd love to encourage you to take some time in prayer. This life can be very busy and move very quickly. And it's up to us to say, you know what? I'm going to take some time, be before the Lord, slow things down and let the word of God wash over me and fill my heart and mind so that we can all be effective for God in this life. So take some time and review shows, Bible studies, and some videos, and your prayers are in the word, and your answers are in the word, and uh, that's what we're looking to offer. Good news is it's always free. There's no subscription. There's no dues. It is freely given the word of God. Now, today's show, it is sure to bless us all, increase our faith, and expand our knowledge of God through the truth of his word, because he is revealing himself to ministers across this globe in really unique and special ways. And this life of faith is so special. And to understand it, when we're baptized and filled with the Holy Spirit, that's a real key, because then God gives us a spiritual mind to look at things, evaluate and assess. And in order to be effective, we must have a spiritual mind and look at things, circumstance, relationships, whatever it is going on in our life, we must look at that through spiritual eyes. Christ said in John 4 verse 24, God is a spirit and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Wow, that's an incredible statement there. We must worship God in spirit and in truth. And we're going to offer some beautiful ministers today to help us do that in simplicity as well, because that's what the Lord, Lord is, see how direct God is? <laughs> God is a spirit and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. When we seek God, we will always have our answers. But when we look around at, you know, some of these quote issues that are uh, afflicting the nation of Ameri of the United States of America, or, you know, some of these oppressive, oppressive regimes internationally that are, wow, so evil, looking to quash freedom and the voices of righteous, of the righteous. It really seems like there's only bad news. But we have some great news, friends. This is Proverbs 28, verse 1. It says, The wicked flee when no man pursueth, but the righteous are bold as a lion. So let's stand on the word of God and let's be bold as a lion, worshiping God in spirit and in truth. And I'm so blessed because we get to learn from a great man of God, my spiritual grandfather, and a true apostle. We fondly refer to him as Brother Bob. And his ministry began after God miraculously healed him of terminal cancer of the lungs and the stomach. He was given just days to live and God miraculously healed him, restored his body. And after that, of course, 
He was seeking earnestly everything that God had for him. He wanted all of God. So he went to seminary school. He thought that would be the next step in, in this glorious new life of faith. Well, Mark 16, 17 says, And these signs shall follow them that believe. In my name shall they cast out devils. They shall speak with new tongues. They shall take up certain serpents. And if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. And they shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. Well, Brother Bob, he was studying the word diligently, hearing of the amazing examples of the apostles in the Bible doing those very things that Christ spoke of in Mark. And because Brother Bob lived those things himself, he knew these were that every word that's in the Bible applies to each one of us spirit filled Christians. So he was studying the word diligently, hearing of these amazing examples of the apostles. And so, yeah, he's in seminary and he, he goes up to one of the seminary instructors and he asked him a very simple question. How do I get all of this? And the instructor said, well, that was just for the old apostles. <laughs> but Brother Bob, again, having been miraculously healed, having lived the word, he knew full well that was not the case. There was so much more. And so he boldly proclaimed to this seminary instructor, stuck his hand out. Well, shake hands with the new apostle. And my beloved friends, we are so lucky that he said that. We are so blessed that he didn't accept that lame response of, oh, that's only for the old days. No, he recognized that every word in the Bible is for us. And that stance, simply standing on the word of God, let's do the same and accept nothing less. That boldness that he used to vocalize it, he taught and will hear today. He still is teaching. He's gone on to be with the Lord now, a few decades ago, actually, but he is still teaching that we can have that same boldness too. And that faith that he demonstrated, that faith to know that the word means what it says. And being filled with the Holy Spirit, he knew that God has so much more for those that seek him, for those that want all of God. So the Lord led him on incredible journeys, and a few of which you'll hear today, some of the highlights, um, to establish churches, because that's what true apostles do. He healed the sick, raised the dead, and helped countless souls know God and know that God truly does have wondrous works for us today. And in order to get that spiritual mind that I referenced a little earlier, to look at things through spiritual eyes, there's a real key here in the word. We must remove that natural mind, those natural habits, if we are to have a spiritual mind. Why? It's in 1 Corinthians 2.14. It says, But the natural man receives not the things of the Spirit of God, for they are foolishness unto him. Neither can he know them, because they are spiritually discerned. There's a great contrast here. It's night and day. There's no way to understand spiritual matters with a natural mind. That's what the word says. So let's get down to brass tacks. Let's learn how to wash away that natural mind and learn to worship God in spirit and in truth. We're going to do that today for you. We have three beautiful ministers and we're going to start with our beloved brother, Bob. I guarantee you, you are going to love this message from him. And again, this was hard fought for this message going out across this land, both today, a miraculous healing of these airwaves so you get to hear it right now, and in his own life through years and decades of serving God with all his heart, all his mind, and all his strength. Here's our wonderful brother.